for us, the biggest difference is the data. You know, we capture everything you see saying here, we store it in a way that's private, local to just you. And then we use that, just subsets of that, to serve you in the asks that you have. You know, example, you ask Rewind to write you an email. You know, if I asked Rewind, hey, write me an email to Sam Altman asking to catch up. The data of the fact that we were introduced by Paul Graham in 2010, the data of the fact that he's an investor in our company and that, you know, he just launched a new feature, all of that is data that no large language model company or provider could offer. And that gives us like a unique differentiated approach. You know, we use the power of the reasoning that large language models provide with the data that we have that no one else has. So I think that's a good example of what the opposite of a thin wrapper is. You know, the other part is owning that user experience. And we have, you know, the users are using us. It's, it's, a, it's a native app they've installed. They've gone through that friction. Uh, so we, we have a, a fervent user base of people who use us every day. That's also something that if you think about it from a competitive lens, even if you built, a, you know, a web-based version, the switching costs are very high. And we also have every Everything you've seen that or heard up until you start since you use our rewind. So even if tomorrow some big tech company launches what we do, you know, we've got a lot of users who say, well, why'd I switch? Because I already have all the data with rewind. It's not like Dropbox to iCloud where you could just, you know, copy the files uh, from one to the other. So I think we have, you know, in that sense, uh, a, a huge switching cost for, for new products. So those are all things I look at, you know, proprietary data, high switching costs, owning the user relationship and doing more than just what OpenAI could do if they wanted to.